Hey Dave, nice to see you again, sport. None of this, Dave, trap please. Oh I get it. You're Ziggy right now, or is it Aladdin? No it's David, you great Aussie nonce. Nobody calls me, Dave. I'm not one of your plebeian mates, hanging around the white trash barbie with a big stomach and a can of Castle Main 4X. I'm the thin white duke. Come to think of it, you can call me Mr. Bowie, or your grace. Fair dinkum, Bruce. I mean Mr. Bruce. Anyway, I've got a bone to pick with you, young man. Last time we the met here as we occasionally do at the cultural mecca that is the Wolverhampton Public Library, you said you didn't have an alter ego. Well, truth is, sport, I don't really know what an alter ego is. Jake the Peg is an alter ego, you clot. Oh now I get it. Then I think you ought to know, the troll Faris is also an alter ego, your grace. Hot tramp. You kidding me? No, I swear. My real name is Roger Whittaker, the general non-entity, indifferent crooner and extraordinarily gifted whistler. In my real life I'm not even Australian, Mr. Bally. I wondered why I never heard you whistle. You do practically anything else, especially when people go back to your place, I've heard. That's right, my melodious whistle would I identify me quite unmistakably, as that stupendous whistling talent and huge in Germany singing star, Roger Whittaker. Has it ever occurred to you that nobody really cares, Rolf? You mean apart from the entire population of West Germany, Davy Boy, I mean, Mr. Bowie, your grace. Yeah, uh, what in light entertainment is that? What? That horrible noise. What noise? I can't hear anything, Mr. Bally. I hope all that glam rock hasn't given you tinnitus. Are you telling me you can't hear that? It's like bird song only extra stupid sounding. There must be birds here in the grounds of the Wilverhampton Public Library. You know as well as I do there are no birds or wildlife of any kind in Wolverhampton. There. There he is. It's the crazy African Bushman, Roger Whittaker, lurking, as well he might, in the bushes. You've been having me on. Out you come now, Roger. It's okay, yes. Yawn. Of course you're the real Roger Whittaker. No, I'm not some silly sequined claim rocker. I know the difference between an African and an Australian accent. Yes, I know, I know, you are huge in Germany. You're a bit of joker, aren't you? Not really, so Dave, but I'm a bit of an all-round entertainer. You'd better watch it mate, especially here in Wolves. You could get your head kicked in. What? Again? The point is, Rolf, I have to admit to feeling a little jealous. Because I haven't invited you back to my place yet? What are you talking about? Never mind. It's just that I thought I was so brazen and outrageous with my larger-than-life personas, all that glitter, the space suits, the high heels, the proto-fascism, but the fact is you've really trumped me. I didn't have the guts or the audacity to go for such blatant phallic sexuality. The extra leg is a real master stroke, Rolf Man. Mr. Bally. We don't have much call for that sort of thing in Australia. But perhaps you'd like to come back to my place, and I could show you my extra leg? Good idea. And I can show you how to sew some lovely sequins into your dirty old man overcoat, if you like. Do you think I could be glamorous, Mr. Bally? Maybe if I close my eyes. It worked with Gary Glitter. 
but one time I opened my eyes and that was a big mistake. You ever been wobbleboarded? It sounds like torture. Yes, ask Monsieur Foucault. Don't you swear at me, young man. I'm Jake the Pig, diddly diddly diddly, with his extra leg, diddly diddly diddly. Wherever I go through rain and snow, the people always let me know. There's Jake the Pig, diddly diddly diddly, with his extra.